did Mariano just torch $85,000? I am not talking about him accidentally turning off monetization on his YouTube channel. Or like be like the Joker in that scene when he just lights all that. That was a lot more than $85,000. I'm talking about this hand against Dan Jungleman Kate's on Hustler Casino Live. Hey, if you end up liking this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We'll be posting stuff for you to enjoy for the rest of your damn lives. All right. We're in a very high stakes game here, Jonathan. We are. 400, 800 with an 800 big blind Annie. I mean, come on. Dan Jungleman Cates, that is not an opponent I want to see in a cash game. He's really good. We were talking in our <laughs> podcast about where he falls, and we are like, he's like either second or third tier cash game player, and the top tier is like five players. Right. So he's like in the next... You know, he's like somewhere between players six and like 40 in cash games as far as we, you know, we're just guessing. But yeah, of course, somebody who really plays against these guys could be like, actually, that guy's in tier one. You right. Know, like, it's possible. Knows? But um, like he was for a while considered the best heads up player in the world in cash and clearly has tremendous success. So Mariano, I think, is the, the best vlogger at cash game poker uh, of the you know famous poker vloggers. But yeah. But he's not quite in the jungle man tier of, of cash game of course not. Uh, accomplishment or skill, it seems, at this point. Although it seems like a very tough guy to play against. Oh, my gosh. And I think this hand, a lot of it has to do with Mariano being a tough guy to play against, ultimately. Right? Because just to briefly set up the situation, we get the three-bet preflop with the hand. That if you're going to play against jungle man, at least you got to get aces. You know, that's going to be nice. Yeah. We get the miracle easy. flop for jungle man where he flops the second enough flush draw with top pair. He calls flop, calls turn. Both bets are reasonable by Mariano, in our opinion. If you want to hear more about that stuff, check out our podcast. We go in-depth on every decision there. You can get anywhere you get podcasts. The river is where things get really interesting. Big time. Jungleman makes the second nuts here. Should he consider leading? I mean, he should definitely consider leading. Uh, the problem with leading is, boy, it looks strong. Like, what do we have here that's a bluff that isn't very strong if we lead? Yeah, we struggled with this on our podcast, and we kept coming up with hands that then we realized, oh, wait, he wouldn't get here with that hand for one of many reasons. Like, the king 10 off with the king of hearts, he's not calling with that preflop, right? Right. So it's it's hard to imagine hands that he can have that are just, like, the random ace of hearts in his hand. I don't, uh, as Mariano, of course, we know that he wouldn't have that, but from Jungle Man's perspective, it's hard to imagine having a random ace of hearts that you turn into a bluff when it's you call 40K on the turn. Really, really hard. Like if we had king, queen with the king of hearts or ace, queen with the ace of hearts, would we feel the need to lead this river or would we just check and let Mariano bluff because he's known for bluffing? Like why wouldn't we just bluff catch? It's a great bluff catching hand. It's a better bluff catching hand than turning our hand into a bluff when we already have top pair good kicker. Yeah. So I think it does look a little bit too strong. I um, agree. And I think... As we see, ultimately, Mariano moving in with aces here. I'm not sure what he would have done if Jungle Man shoved himself, but it seems like Mariano's going to have more thin value than he's going to have thin calls in this spot, the way this hand played out. So I yes. think I like checking. I love the way you said that. I agree completely. So that's the first part, is Jungle Man checking. Then the next question is, should Mariano bet his aces or not? He does have one key card here, the ace of hearts. It is nice to know that Jungle Man doesn't have the nuts. You know, that helps a lot as far as, as betting for value, because this is clearly for value here. Yeah. Uh, and part of it that makes sense for Mariano is, is his reputation. You alluded to this earlier. He's known to have some moves, right? Absolutely. So when you're a guy who's known to have some moves and you're playing against one of the best in the world who clearly knows that you're a guy who has some moves, you're going to have to expand your value range a little bit. The question is, did he expand it too much? Because Mariano's going to three bet a fair amount preflop hijack to cutoff. So he's going to have a lot of flush combos, lots of ace X of hearts, hmm. lots of king X of hearts, lots of suited heart connectors. Those are all hands that are slam dunk easy value bets, right? Yeah, of course. Like, the question is, how many bluffs do we have? And that will help us answer if we need to include hands like aces with the ace of hearts in our value. Right. To be clear, Mariano shoving here is for value. I know he's the ace of hearts in his hand, but he's clearly not expecting to fold out better. He's right. trying to get called by worse. Yeah, he has a lot of value, like you're saying, these other heart combos for sure. But he also, because he three bets pretty wide a lot, because he's trying so hard, I think, to like have these good, strong ranges and difficult to know where he is. He's, you know, he could be anyone. He's shape-shifting um, with his ranges. That, like, 
He's going to have probably a lot of bluffs, too. I think he's bluffing any naked ace of hearts, any naked king of hearts here, right? Right, and he's going to have a lot of naked ace of hearts having three-bet preflop as a semi-bluff type of hand, uh, ace blocker thing. Fewer naked king of hearts, but he'll have some naked king of hearts that he will three-bet preflop just because he's going to sometimes show up with hands like that. Yep. Uh, and that's already a fair amount of bluffs when you consider how many combos that really adds up to. And then, he, of course, he has any ace king with a heart in it. Right? For sure. Uh, th- that that's an easy bluff. So that's quite a few bluffs. You know, I'm not going to do the math on it, but it's it's quite a few bluffs already. It's certainly more than the amount of flushes that we have. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be. So that means we have to hunt for more value. Right. Right. And if you say like, oh, well, he can have like top two and he can have sets. There aren't that many of those things really available. So like top two would, he? I don't think he's three betting queen jack off almost ever. I think maybe he, a little, maybe a little, but most yeah. it's queen jack suited. If it's queen jack suited, there's only two combos, right? Yeah. Um, set, sure. But there's only three sets of queens and three sets of jacks and three sets of fours. If you can have fours, which maybe a little bit of, but mostly not. It's possible that aces with the ace of hearts is a better value bet than queen jack anyway. Yes. Because we, we know that jungle man doesn't have the nuts. He has way fewer snap calls. That's good. You know, when when we're going for thin value, we really don't want to get snap called. <laughs> so <laughs> if we can remove a lot of snap calls from his range, with which the Ace of Hearts clearly does. Yeah. Great. I agree. I agree. And again, if we've got a lot of bluffs and we're playing against a player like Jungle Man, who's going to call with the right amount of the right section of his range and the right frequency. Now we have to balance our bluffs with the right amount of value. Right. And so I think this is why he ultimately decides he has to shove. It's only two-thirds pot. I know it's $85,000, but it's only two-thirds pot with his aces. So that's a number that the price Dan's getting to call. He may just feel obligated to call with his king-queens, his ace-queens, and other hands even. It's like, possible. We don't really know how wide the calling range goes, but I think just based on Mariano's game alone, it, that's enough to, to lean me towards the shove is okay and probably necessary for him in the long run to, yeah. to have value shoves with hands like this. Now, Mike Mattisau disagreed yes, on Twitter. He, big time. He, he panned this and, and called it really bad. He thought it was terrible. And Daniel Negreanu disagreed with Mattisau and said something very smart and poignant about this. Here's what he said. Mike, you can't bet the river here because you won't be bluffing enough to get value in this spot, which is, I'm sure, true, right? On the river, the bet is only two-thirds pot, and he says he beats, and this is the interesting part. Ace-queen, king-queen, king-king. That's not shocking. Ace-jack, king-jack, jack-10, meaning those are other hands that Negranu thinks Jungle Man is going to strongly consider calling with and put the chips in a fair amount of the time with, right? Like a hand like even Jack-10, because the bluffs are, as Daniel says, all ace-king hands with the heart. So that's pretty awesome. I love that he's including these jacks also as possibles. And I think the most important thing he said there was, yeah, it's not a value bet for you, Mike, because you are known to knit up on the river in spots like this. So it's just not worth it for you because you're only getting called by better hands. It's and it's not even the it's not the knitting as much as the he just doesn't have bluffs, right? Yeah. So then if you don't have many bluffs, you can't have super amounts of value and you know, and everyone knows it. Or everyone knows if you bet, you've got it. Right. right. So they're just not gonna call with top pair. Only. So I, I'm in Camp Negrano here. I think this is the right move for Mariano, and he just runs into the very tippy top of Jungle Man's available range. It's gonna happen.